Welcome back to Brave Sailing. In this episode, we haul Brave out at Ratanachai Shipyard, Phuket. We move to a hostel in Old Town and find fun things to do in Phuket. But first, we anchor at the Pee Pee Islands, made famous by the 2000 movie The Beach. Can you smell? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> what was that? I don't particularly want to go under the cliff and Priya says. I don't particularly want to do exams. We don't always get what we want, now do it. <laughs> no, we probably won't go underneath the cliff. We don't really need to. But it's pretty spectacular. Look at those formations. Like the erosion on this cliff is incredible, right? They look like they quite noisy that thunder side, yeah it's way over there but what's over there can come over here we really enjoyed swimming in this lagoon surrounded by the steep cliffs of Kopipili Island it's a special place with calm water where the long tails travel out from Kopipi Don with tourists for a touch of holiday tranquility When it's open and we can go and step onto the beach. It's actually called Maya Beach or Maya Beach and uh, I'm sure it'd be fun to go and have a look. So we've booked in to haul out Brave in Ratanachai uh, shipyard which is a bit industrial but it's uh, it's just where we can get our boat out because of how wide she is and they wanted to come and just check on us before we haul out. We're a good like six nautical miles away, six seven nautical miles from Ratanachai right now and uh, they've sent the tug around which just is pretty cute really. Gosh it does look very industrial they're all wearing their hard hats so I think they're going to come and have a bit of a dive and have a look at our hull. So what's happening mum? Oh they want to come alongside which is not what I was expecting but we're just going to blow up our fenders because they're just nice big fat ones. Good Hodaki face fenders. Yeah. Got my fingers on the post, avocado and toast And leather seats get plain, always ready to go Catch a suntan on the roof of the yacht A penthouse elevator, take us up to the top In my sweaty jacket, always bringing the magic I got the top pulled down in my automatic You know my everyday life may sound dramatic But when you got it like this, gotta make it a headache I think it's amazing that they um, wanted to even do that, yeah. to double check. I think, yeah, it's really, really professional. First well, time. professional, that was, uh, yeah, that's, that, that's a loose term. No, but I think the fact that they've come and inspected the boat before they stick it on the cradle is actually pretty cool because it covers both sides. We could have come in with damage underneath and then claimed that they'd done it or not known about damage, whereas they've come in and had a good look underneath the boat before we've been hauled. So yeah, I, I like it. I think it's really cool. So we're anchored in Ao Yong Bay. Uh, just around the corner from Chilong where we checked into Thailand uh, and we are just going to head into town now with a few other cruisers to go to some night markets. Well boys are ready. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> yeah let's ride. Here to pick up Lara. Right, jump on. I'm 
nervous, but anyway, they said come and tie up to the tug, so we have. We're heading up here tomorrow, and we'll go up that slipway on a cradle. Here's the foreman. He's a bit of a cool dude. <laughs> He's not going to be able to smoke that in a minute. So they've put the cradle in the water here, and now they've got a guy just under the water here. And he's just checking to see where our keels are so he can make sure that we're sitting on top of the cradle yeah. and of course the water is beautiful and clean so he's got to get right up close and personal we're going a lot faster than i expected and the solomons we went super we're slow done, didn't done, we, we? Yeah, we this guy's a bit of a dude like he's got full control over everything that's going on we're the way, we're the way, we're the way. <laughs> this is quite the shipyard so many boats in here and they're all large. Never makes you feel good, does it? No, not until you can actually see it properly chopped up. There's lots of boards moving around underneath the boat. Is there? Yeah, like that guy's just come. Yeah, but he's taking it away. Yeah, I know, he's got, the wrong size. he's got the wrong size. Definitely got his safety crocs. Shoes. Yep. Oh, what's run, we're off. Okay, grab right. some shoes. We're gonna move slightly sideways. Bit of a green haze all over our boat. A few barnacles. Not as many as I thought they were going to be, but still it would be good to get all of that info off, all the old stuff and start afresh. All right, here we go, we're moving out. It's gonna to be too hard to live in the boatyard. Doesn't really have any kind of, kind of kitchenette or cooking facilities, does it? So we're going to a guest house, which actually is no better than the shipyard really, but uh, at least it'll be quieter and uh, the girls will be able to study for their exams that are coming up. But uh, so far we've had the anchor chain taken off, some pulleys to do with the dinghy uh, getting changed, and hopefully our sanding will start tomorrow. So we moved to a small hostel in Old Town Phuket, where we could walk out the door and explore, but it wasn't without its difficulties. These are our rooms, pretty basic. No, we lift, we, okay, so it's chased shut the door Accidentally. and the door gets stuck at the top. <laughs> so we're stuck inside and see if we can't open it. While Dave worked at the boatyard, the kids and I went to a moon festival. Look at those power lines. We walked past a few the other day, didn't we, yeah. guys? And they were buzzing. They were buzzing and crackling, yeah. weren't they? Oh, it was so noisy. For a lack of anything else to do, we're gonna go to the Pickett 3D Museum. Studio, we're gonna go in and try a bit of pottery. Just looking at the new fiberglass work on the front of our rudder. Looks like I haven't been quite as careful as I think I have. Seems as though I've hit something as we've been traveling and it's um, just put a bit of a dent on the front of our rudder, but that's all been re-glassed over, thankfully. It wasn't overly compromised, so we didn't have to strip it back too much, but it's been re-glassed. We've got the primer on at the moment. 
hopefully in not too much longer. When's the uh, Antifail going on, Dave? I'm guessing as soon as this is dry. Okay. So probably tomorrow. And what's all that there then? Why is, why is it different just, colours? They've gone around afterwards and they've just looked at any little marks in the hull and they've just filled them. Oh. So yeah. yeah it wasn't oh, I'm a bit dismayed to see how many there are though, Dave. No, they've just <laughs> gone through and tidied the whole thing. Well, I'm pleased it's going to be it's a good. conscientious job. That's yeah, that's really is. good. It's, it's a good job. Yeah, it's a good job. Things are a bit harder when we don't live on the boat, so we have to find a laundry mat to come and wash our washing. Still in Ratanachai uh, shipyard. Uh, we've got noise going on all around us, but I've just received the kids' exams. The girls are going to be sitting there NCA exams uh, for New Zealand. Uh, so I'm just printing out their exams now while they're not here on the boat and I guess next week we start uh, hopefully in a quiet space getting their exams done. So uh, they're busy back at our accommodation in the hostel in Old Town Phuket doing their study, or they should be, and uh, here we are doing exam prep for them. But progress is being made on the boat, we've just rolled up all our carpets and uh, they're going to be cleaned for the first time in about three years since we've had them. Uh, which is going to be fantastic. They're pretty scoty. Uh, cushions are going to get cleaned, our inside cushions, and we've organised for the outside cushions to be made. New mattresses for the beds, look, it's all go. And the bottom of the boat looks incredible. The, the guys here in the shipyard have done an immaculate job. They've gone through and touched up any little imperfections on the boat. You look at the first coat of antifoil that they've put on and it's just smooth as a baby's bum. It's just incredible. That is, we're super pleased with the job they've done. Wow, this is our street has been transformed within a few hours. This is literally right outside our door. <laughs> And what a teller! Welcome to the Phuket Park! Python book for teens. Nice. Well, that's okay for you because you're now a teen. Yeah. 13 today. Well done. This time on the hard gave us the opportunity to seek out experiences that were new to us. And Che's 13th birthday was filled with some rounds at a shooting range, a drive up to the Big Buddha, and a competitive game of paintball. So we've separated into teams. We've got team... Orange, the best colour. Orange, which is Priya, Dave and Reef. And then we've got the winning team yeah. of right. Zephy, Che and moi. Flexifold props to replace the Kiwi props we had before. The red stripes being replaced. The stickers up at the bow. That's looking pretty swish. But anti foul they've done an incredible job with at Retinache. We're pretty happy, aren't we guys? We are. But back in the water this morning. Straight down there, they're all starting to get us organized. The guy that's hauling us actually is way over in the far building on the right hand side there. He's sitting there controlling the cable that's pulling us in. I can't believe how quickly we're going in. Like they're not mucking around. Most of our work on Brave was aesthetic and we were so pleased with how she was looking. Join us next time as we spend time exploring the Hongs in Fung Na Bay and travel to the province of Krabi.